Perfect. Guys, let's get it started. Uh, it's gonna be standing warm up here. So let's go for some marches. So you're gonna march for the high knee and then pull that leg towards you. But however many steps you can take forward. Once you can't go anymore, just go for a little back pedal and then start over again. Bring that knee high and pull even a little bit higher here. Work that balance early. It's going to be useful for a split sense position later, working on that balance. For this next one, you guys, we're going to reach for one leg, extend the arm that's available, and march forward that way too. Doing a little stepping back, back pedaling once you go as far as you can. Alright, watch out for your lower back. You don't want it to uh, extend too much when you're reaching overhead, right? You don't want to be doing this. Try and keep your body straight. Let's go for one more around here, wherever you at, and we're gonna switch it up. Okay, next one's a shuffle. So we're just going laterally here. Shuffle to one direction and shuffle back. You should never tap your feet. You shouldn't cross them, but they stay in line right here. Shuffling forward and back. You can even push and extend instead of grab. You just two options on shuffle. Either you grab the floor with one leg or you push yourself towards the direction you're going. So you pull yourself where you're going or you push yourself where you're going. That's the one's gonna start getting the heart rate upright. Slight bend at the knee, body hinge forward. Hopefully you have enough room to do what I'm doing right here. Otherwise you take a couple steps less. We're gonna switch it soon. All right, awesome you guys. This next one is actually gonna be the, the row warm walk. We're gonna hinge at the hips, extend our arms as far as you feel comfortable going, and then you're gonna walk your feet towards your hand. Okay, so hinge with me here. Hands come to the floor. You're walking them as far as you feel comfortable, and then you start tiptoeing towards your hand. Small, slow, small step towards your hand. And then stand. I don't have room to do two in a row, so I'm just gonna back pedal and start over again. If you have more room, keep going. So inching, inching as far as you can. Let's see if I can get one more here. I'll go to the camera. Pretty much. Let's try and get one more of those, and then we're already gonna finish our warm up. Beautiful. Okay, guys, let's finish with this. Get in lunge position, okay? Lunge down, and we're gonna. Jump and switch legs. Take a pause here, then slowly go down again. Jump and switch legs. 
You don't need to do continuous, you just take a break between all of them. And if that's too much for right now, then you just do reverse lunges, alternating. And we're good. We are good to get started. So what you'll need here, guys, is a couple weights. If you don't have weights, you could potentially do the movements with whatever you find around the house, or so just do it in body weight. It's combo upper and lower body together. So for that first one, we're gonna do an ISO lunge to bicep curl. So we're gonna do this one together. It's only six reps because we're gonna be holding that bottom position, which is gonna be challenging. So we're gonna start all with the right leg forward for the demo. Then you can do whatever you want. But let's start together with the right leg forward. I would like you to drop as deep as you can in your lunge. Stay there while you complete six curls with me. Okay, so right here, drop it down, hold it at the bottom, and let's get six bicep curl. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Woo! So if you got a good challenging weight, that's gonna be tough. If you feel like it was easy, just do more reps next time, okay? Then, we're gonna switch movements. We'll get back to the lunge and balance things out. But number two is an atomic mountain climber, so hands on the shoulders, and we're gonna cross our legs diagonally here. 16 total times, eight per side. So let's do it, I'm gonna go right to left. One, two, three, keep going here. Got the weight of my weight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So really try to cross diagonally. You can put some speed on that one, that's totally fine. We'll get several rounds of it, probably. Then we're gonna go back to that ISO lunge with hammer curls this time. So, instead of having the palms facing away and curling this way, we're gonna go neutral and stay in a neutral grip position. We have the right leg forward. Let's put the left leg forward this time. Drop down into that lunge and stay there. Okay, let's drop down. And from here, six curls. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, if you feel like you could have stayed there for longer, add a couple reps, no problem. Lastly, going back to some abs, we're gonna do the bicycle from your back here. 16 of those again, so crunch position first. Get your upper back off the floor, keep it off the floor, and then go in eight times per direction with the bicycle. So let's do that one together. If you can, extend your feet completely out here. Get opposite elbow to opposite knee. Here you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's a good little pace to hold for that one. I would say, let's try and go for at least three rounds on this one. I think it's gonna be doable here, you guys. I'm gonna get your nine minutes started in uh, three, two, and one. You're good to go. Again, you pick the leg you wanna start with forward. Thank you. 
Complete our round in about two and a half minutes. So definitely would like you all to try and get three rounds. Time yourself to stay at that bottom position for the lunch without letting the knee rest on the floor. Guys, gonna get a towel. <laughs> Getting close to the six minute mark, so two thirds, <coughs> two thirds of the way. 
aren't too heavy, stick to the bottom position of that lunge a little bit longer, that's where it gets really tough. Two minutes, you guys, keep it up, but don't crush yourself because next block has more, even more work going, going on for itself. And the challenge is definitely the toughest thing today. If you're about to start a fourth round, focus only on the abs. Do a minute and a half here only with the atomic climbers and the bicycles. seconds to finish what you're doing. All right, you guys. Go and get some water if you haven't already. Okay, so next up, we're gonna have a burpee curl to press to get it started with. So you're gonna need your weights again. If you don't have weights, you're gonna do a burpee and you're gonna jump at the top, okay? So it's the same thing, you get to a, a push-up position, you get right back up and you, and you jump. That's for the, even, you can even add a push-up actually, if you don't have weights. Now for those of you that have the weights, let's go for six reps here. And if you don't, again, you do the option right now. So you're gonna have your weights here, we're gonna hop back and get to a push-up position, okay? Then we're gonna hop forward, Chest is up, hips are down, lift that weight off the floor, curl them, and then do your shoulder press at the top. That's one rep. Let's go five, five more. Hand at the hips nicely, try not to round your back. Push up position, back up, lift, curl, and press. That's two. Keep going here, hinge, step, step, lift, curl, press. Three, we got three more, hinge, Step, step, lift, curl, and press. Four, Woo. two more. Step, step, curl, to press. Five, Woo. last one here. Hinge at the hips, hop, hop, curl, and press. Woo. So that's your first exercise. That's the one that gets the heart rate up quickly. Then, we got a side plank to rotation, you guys. 
as always, on the side plank. You can either put your weight on your knee, or you can try to hold yourself up with your feet stacked up. Only hitting one side here for 12 reps. So, right here I'm gonna start on my left because I'm already here, but you choose which side you wanna start with. Lift your hips high, keep them high for 12 reps. Hand behind your head. Let's get up. And from here, we're gonna drop our elbow down to the floor and back up 12 times. That was one. Let's keep going. Two, hips stay high. Three, that's the most important part, the hips stay high. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it up. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Whew. It's a good amount of reps on one side. If you need to break it up, you do that. Then moving on to a push-up to low row. Six reps again. So, grabbing your weights here. If you don't have the, the weights, just mimic the movement. Actually, if you don't have the weights, you're gonna do a push-up and then you're gonna tap and tap your shoulders, okay? Trying to hold it on your shoulders for one or two seconds. Now, 14 weights here. Same idea, but we're gonna row instead. So we're here, push-up position. Let's get there together. You're gonna push up, and then you're gonna row in each side once. Row, and row. That's one. Let's go five more. Push up, row, and row. Two, push up, row, and row. Three, push up, row, row. You're trying to keep your body from moving too much, you guys. Depending on the weight it, that you have, it's gonna be very challenging. Drop to your knees if you need it. Push up, row, row. And we got one more here. Push up, row, and row. Woo, sorry, getting tired here. So, six of those. Now we're going back to the plank with rotation. Switch the side. If you were on the left like me, you're going to your right elbow here. Lift your head tight, let's do it. And then get 12 rotation, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the hips high. Eleven and twelve. Whoo! We got one more. We got one more, and it's a power move. It's a ground to press. Get only six reps. Your, the idea here is to try and pull both weights quickly overhead. If you can't go overhead, squat and pull them to your chest. If you don't have weights, you are doing six jump squat instead. Okay, let's do those. Grab your weights, keep them close to your body as you get your movement done. Let's squat and bring it overhead. One, two, Three, power guys. Four, five, and six. Okay, let's give you 10 minutes. If you get two rounds, beautiful. You're good to go right now. Our rate's gonna go up in this part, so it's totally fine if you need some breaks. Remember, you're gonna keep some energy for the challenge as well. Uh. 
Everything six besides the side plank rotation is 12 per side, and you're not doing them back to back. I need a weight right in between. This is heavy. But it's okay. Let's keep getting it. Wednesday morning. Way to sweat. seconds from the half of this part.
Try to catch your breath when, when you really breathe heavy. Try to get that breathing through your nose again. Stay strong, guys. We got two minutes to go here. Get a minute, one minute, and then we're going into that challenge. If you've been going at really high pace, slow down a little bit here the last minute. You got some juice for what's coming up next. Ten seconds here. Finish that round. Woo we we ready. We ready for this last part. Okay guys, take a break. Forty-five seconds on. 30 seconds off, five exercises, and we're doing two rounds. So starting with the iso lunge to curl, we're iso lunging and curling. Honestly, depending on the weight you have, you're not gonna be able to stay down for 45 seconds. If that's your case, that's fine. Extend up, take a break, maybe get a few curls from the top, and then try to go back down before we get done, okay? I know it's gonna be my case, my weight, I can't do that for five seconds. So you modify it, right? But if your body weight, perfect. You stay down for 45 seconds. Pick the leg you want to start with. Then we're doing the burpee curl the press. We just keep going for 45 seconds. Let's see if you can get at least six reps again, maybe even more. That'll be my challenge for you. Then you get a little break doing crunch to bicycle. Then we're going back to the ground press. That one too, you might need to take a little break within the 45 seconds. But if you keep, can keep your body moving, awesome. And then we got the push up to low row. Yep. 45 seconds as well. Okay. I hope you're ready for this. It's gonna be a good challenge, you guys. 
I'm gonna count it down and we'll get started with that ISO lunge to curl. You choose the leg you wanna start with. Alright, have your weights next to you. I'm gonna count it down. In three, two, and one. Let's do it. You can choose the curl you wanna do. Hammer, regular, or alternating between the both, the two. We're 15 seconds in. It's gonna be very, very challenging here. 15 seconds to go. Try dropping really low right now. You got five, three, two, and one. Relax. Woo. Shake it off. We're doing burpees next. Curl the press. Again, count your reps. See if you can get at least six. We're about to go again, you guys. Big breath in. Three, two, and one. We're up. Three seconds to go. Keep going, keep going. Ah. We got five, four, three, two, and one rest. All right, good. You got more than six in your job. Okay, we got bicycles, you guys. Can be nice here. We're working. But we're on our backs. Keep that upper back from touching the floor. 45 seconds of work. We're starting in three, two, and one. Let's do it. Fifteen down, thirty to go. Don't give up on it. Fifteen seconds. <sighs> Press that lower back against the floor. Three, two, and one. What we got next? Ground press, you guys. I will challenge you to try to get about 10 on the ground press. About 10 reps in 45 seconds. All right, about to go back, you guys. Weights by your side. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Three seconds to go. Guys, we got ten seconds. Couple more reps. Take a break. All right, almost done. We're round one. 
Plank lower is next. Push up to lower. Set yourself up. All right, guys, we're going three, two, and one. Here we go. back to the lunges. I hope you remember what leg you start with because you're going to the other side. Guess what? It's time to go in three, two, one. Let's do it. Bicycle next. Way to stay with me. Get ready, we got ten seconds. One, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go.
We got those mats. Two more. It's fine, man. Dos. Come on. Two more. Third piece. Let's go. Going a little crazy here. Ground and press is next. It's starting in three, two, and one. Let's do it. Push-up lower has been the toughest one for me today. And we're finishing with that. Try because of the weights. 10 seconds, guys. Get ready. This is game time. Last one. Last 45 seconds of movement. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's get it. Five seconds left in the workout. Keep going, keep going. Workout like I did. Let's stretch out. Yeah. All right, Texas, have some weights that are a little too heavy for the movement you're doing. It is. It's already a hard movement, and then it gets so much harder. Beautiful. So let's get started with some uh, standing breathing here. We're actually gonna go for a wide stance, you guys. Wide standing stance. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and inhale up to the ceiling. Fingers interlace. Exhale, reach for, reach up from the ceiling. And relax those arms. We're gonna go right arm up as you breathe in. Exhale, reach for your left. Back at the top, left hand up. Reaching for the right. And this time we're gonna go center here. A big breath in at the top. Exhale, forward, forward. Walk it side to side. If you can go a little bit wider, work those angles. Let's go ahead and drop down to your knees, then drop down to your hips, but lift your chest up, we're going for an upward facing dog. Good 
breathe in deep and let's push back into extended child's pose or you try to sit back on your heels I think it'd be great to do a runner's lunge, so just bring one leg forward, the other one, the other knee is on the floor here. So lean forward just a little bit first. So I'm my right leg forward, maybe let's do that together. Right leg forward, lean forward a little bit, and now squeeze your left glute really tight. Once that's the case, left hand comes on your right knee, and you're going to rotate to the side here. Breathe in deep. Exhale, rotate, 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 rotate as much as you can. Beautiful. Now the hips sit back. And you got yourself a hamstring stretch on the right leg here. Try to somewhat keep a neutral spine. Really pop your hips back. Just start feeling nice pull here in the hamstring. Switch legs. Left leg is forward. You are coming forward first, squeezing that left glute nicely here. And then we're gonna open that left arm to the side. As much thoracic rotation as you can get. Sit your hips back, stretch the left hamstring. Nice last stretch for the day, you guys. Let's get to a back. We're gonna extend our legs, actually bend your right leg here. You're gonna, let me start this over, sorry. Both feet flat on the floor, about hip width apart, so pretty wide. And then you're gonna drop them to the left side, both of them. And for extra stretch, bring your left foot on your right knee. And make sure that you're keeping a neutral spine, preventing your lower back from hyper extending so if you do that by thrusting your hips forward also known as tucking your hips under and you'll feel a nice stretch on the side of the hip here back up top same distance between the legs, drop them to the right, do exactly what you did on the left side, but on the right. It's time to breathe in deep at the center, you guys. Exhale, stretch yourself out. Tomorrow is number 40 home workouts. The beginning is kind of similar as we did today, our two parts. The challenge usually is a, we do the holds. We're gonna add a fourth exercise instead of three for the holds and we're gonna hold it for a little bit longer. That's gonna be extra challenging for number 40. I hope you can make it. Thanks a lot for showing up today and putting in the work. Have a great rest of your day.